Hi! Today's DIY was inspired by that candlestick holder in the background. The two in the front I made from Dollar Tree items. So guys, if you're interested, stay with me and I'll show you how I did this. Supplies needed for this DIY will be two of these candle holders from the Dollar Tree. I'm using the large and the medium. I'm also using a large fish bowl from the Dollar Tree and the smaller one. I don't know if they have three sizes, but these are the two that I've seen. This is the large and this is the small. We will be using some gold metallic acrylic paint. You will need a paintbrush to use. You will need E6000. You will need some of these diamond fillers from Michaels. So I'm cleaning the bowls inside mainly. And I think I want to remove this sticker here. And I thought this would be easy, but um, I'll be back. I might have to use a razor to remove these. And I'm going to remove the stickers from those candlesticks also. So once I'm done removing that, I'll be back to you guys. Just wanted to show you guys how I'm doing this. And I'm using a razor. Children, if you're watching this and you're going to attempt to do something like this, please get mom or dad's permission. And adults, just be careful when you're using a razor. So this is how I'm removing it. That was easy. Then I'm just going to clean that up to remove any residue of glue on it. I'm going to use, do the same with this one. And you might have to use a little muscle to um, remove it. But I'm just giving you the idea. This is how I do it. Um, once I'm done with this, I'll be back. I'm going to take my filler. And we're going to When you buy stuff like this and you use it, this is a nice plastic. You might want to leave it in there, but it's not reusable, like you can't close it. However, if you buy like those little um, containers from the Dollar Tree that come three in a pack, um, that they um, that you can close them up, they're really cute. Um, you might be able to store stuff like this in there. So we're going to take the candle holders. And we're going to fill this part with these. And I'm going to do that with both of them. I do not see that. This is how I want these to look. This is not how the one that I bought from Burlington looks, but I like, I like that. And I know sometimes the, um, I'm not, the camera is not on focus, but that's how I want it. And then we're going to take um, our fish bowls and the bigger one the bigger fish bowl is going to go on the taller candlestick. And then the smaller fish bowl is going to go on the medium candlestick. And once I'm done gluing those, and this is how I'm doing it a little bit. Don't even you don't I don't think you even have to press too much for the glue to come out and if there's any excess dripping before you put the bowl on you have to clean it because you don't want that to dry 
and mess up your DIY. So I'm done with that and I'm looking and there is no drippage. So then I'm going to center this right in the middle. Can you see that? Right in the middle. So now we have to let those get dry for a couple of hours. I started using the acrylic paint, this, to paint the bottom edges of the um, candlesticks. But I did not like how it was coming out because it was coming out um, bumpy and, and everything. So then I remember that I had bought this um, gold metallic marker from the Dollar Tree. And I went over the bottom edge with it. I did the top edge of both of them. And it was really easy because it gives you that guideline right there. So all I did was just go around as I um, turned the whole entire candlestick. And it was fairly quick and easy. And then once it dried, I went over it again. And I did it on this one also. Now I am going to put some E6000 on two strips of the gold bling wrap, um, diamond wrap. And I'm going to put the E6000 in the back. And this is how I do it. I put a little bit across these little things back here. And once I do that, I come and I Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more DIYs. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.